it's Mr. Brown. Let's practice our poem from last time. See if you remember how it goes. It starts with Queenie. Ready? Here we go. Queenie, Queenie, who's got the ball? Somebody stole it from my home. Was it John? Was it Jack? Whoever stole it better give it back. So last week we practiced saying the poem with a variety of steady beats. Today we're going to try it with an ostinato. An ostinato is a repeated pattern that usually is in the background of a song. So I'm going to teach you a pretty fun ostinato today. And then the challenge will be, can we perform the ostinato while the poem is going on? So the ostinato has four parts to it. And listen to the four parts and be ready to tell me how many of those are the same. It goes like this. Better give it back. Better give it back. Better give it back. John or Jack. So there are three parts the same. The first three are the same and the last one is different. So we could say the ostinato is in A, 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 B form. Say it with me. Ready? Go. Better give it back, better give it back, better give it back, John or Jack. Now, an ostinato repeats over and over and over again throughout the song. So what if we say our ostinato together four times, and then we'll stop. Ready? Say it with me. Here we go. Better give it back, better give it back, better give it back, John or Jack. Better give it back, better give it back. Better give it back, John or Jack. Better give it back, better give it back, better give it back, John or Jack. Better give it back, better give it back, better give it back, John or Jack. Now let's add some body percussion to the ostinato. Hold on a second. Gotta face the right direction, Bill. What was I saying? Oh yeah, body percussion. Watch. Better give it back. Better give it back, better give it back, John or Jack. Whenever we say better give it back, we're going to alternate our hands. One, two, three, four, five. That many beats. Try it a couple times. Okay, now, oh, and of course, John or Jack. John or Jack is three claps. So let's try the ostinato. Here we go. Better give it back, better give it back. Better give it back, John or Jack. Better give it back, better give it back, better give it back, John or Jack. What if we take away the words and just do body percussion? Try that. Ready? Go. One more time, ready, go. It's time to perform the ostinato along with the poem. So this first time, you're just gonna say the ostinato over and over and over again while the poem is going on at the same time. This really takes some concentration. See how you do. Better give it back. Better give it back. Better give it back. John or Jack. Better give it back. Better give it back. Better give it back. John or Jack. Queenie, Queenie, who's got the ball? Somebody stole it from my home. Was it John? Was it Jack? Whoever stole it, better give it back. Pretty tricky, huh? This time, you're going to do almost the exact same thing. Keep saying the ostinato while you're doing the body percussion. So it'll be better give it back. Better give it back. Better give it back. John or Jack. Eventually the poem's gonna start, but your job is to keep that ostinato and body percussion going. Better give it back. Better give it back. Better give it back. John or Jack. Better give it back. Better give it back. Better give it back. John or Jack. 
Queenie, better give it Queenie, back. who's better got give it the back. ball? Somebody better give it stole back. it, John or Jack? Better give it back. Better give it John? Better give it back. Who better give it stole it, John or Jack? Final challenge. You are still performing the ostinato. This time, though, um, no words. You're just going to do the body percussion. So your job is to keep this pattern going. And you'll keep that going even as the poem continues in the background. All right? Give it a shot. See how you do. Queenie, Queenie, who's got the ball? Somebody stole it from my home. Was it John? Was it Jack? Whoever stole it better give it back. Great job with that ostinato today. I'm curious, was this hard for you? I'm guessing it was probably a little bit challenging to keep up with both parts in the video, but that's the thing with music. You have to practice until you um, feel comfortable with it. So I hope that if that was tricky for you, you'll rewind the video and try it again and again and again. And of course, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye.